Uh, hello everyone, here is Van Amsen and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to solve an interesting uh, lead code uh, problem number 1378 titled replace ID with the unique identifier. Uh, this one uh, is an SQL problem and it's fairly straightforward. So let's get uh, right into it. We have uh, two tables uh, here, uh, employees and employee uh, uni, as you can see. The employees table contain the ID and name of employees in a company, while employee uni uh, table contains the ID and corresponding unique ID of an employee. Our task is to write an SQL query to show the unique ID of each user. If user does not have uh, a unique ID, we should show uh, null. Uh, to solve this, we will use uh, SQL left join cost to join the employee table and employee uni uh, on the ID column. So ID column is present in both tables. Uh, this way, all rows from the employee table and matching rows from employee uni will be returned. If there is no match, uh, the result uh, is uh, null of the employee uni mm, site. So uh, let's start uh, yeah, to write this uh, query starting from select uh, a name or unique ID from employee a join left employee uni u on a id equals u id yeah and uh, let's see if it's work as you can see this query will return the name and unique id for each employee if uh, employee uh, does not have a unique id the query will return uh, no, so uh, yeah, uh, input was as follow and uh, output uh, is, yeah, Alice null, Bob null, Meyer uh, two, Winston three, Jonathan uh, one, and uh, expected, yeah, so we have uh, exactly what I expected, but we have returned in other way. So we have uh, returned unique ID and name instead of name unique ID, but uh, yeah, it's it's passed uh, the test. So uh, yeah, we have the name, for example, uh, let's try with uh, Jonathan. So Jonathan and ID three and Yeah, with ID three, we have unique ID uh, equals uh, one. And for example, uh, ID 90 is three. So Winston is uh, ID 90. We merge between the those two and Winston is three. So uh, good. So let's submit this query on lead code platform and see if it's passed all uh, test cases. So yes, uh, fortunately it passed and it's 81%. I don't know uh, what kind of runtime time it's measured, but it's, it's good that <laughs> uh, it passed all test cases. And there we go, it, our solution is correct uh, as it's passed all test cases and beats 81% of uh, submission. SQL join, especially the left join calls are very useful when you want to combine rows from two or more table based on a related column between uh, them. Uh, it's uh, an important concept to understand and it's often used in real life uh, databases. Uh, also, probably you are familiar, but if you want, we use employee E, so the shortened name for the table, and then we can refer it by uh, a name. And same with uh, employee uni 
O, so then we have O unique name. So instead of referring like long name, we can uh, shorten it and uh, same uh, as uh, on. So table a ID uh, equals O ID. So it's shortened name because we, we selected uh, employee and give it a short name. That's all for this uh, video. If you found this uh, helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe to channel for more uh, problem solving uh, tutorials. If you have any question, feel free to drop a comment below. Uh, happy coding and see you next time in next coding video.